चैप्टर फैक्टर प्राइसिंग एंड द टॉपिक इज बैकवर्ड बेंडिंग supply curve of labor let us explain the derivation of the backward bending supply curve of labor you see the individual has time to divide between labor supply and leisure activities time can be divided between labor and leisure activities let us say labor is the only factor of production for the individual labor supply is associated with income generation so when the individual needs money for a living and wants income to be generated he or she will supply labor but that can be possible by sacrificing leisure when the individual is at a subsistence level needs more money he or she will devote more time to supply labor draw the diagram this way measuring wage rate on the vertical axis the labor supply of course along the horizontal axis in the beginning let us say that wage rate is w1 at w1 assume that labor supply is l1 at point a wage rate increases to w2 the supply of labor increases to l2 further increase the wage rate to w3 labor supply increases to l3 at point c look at the locus a b c join it this is upward sloping labor supply curve the reason being as i said in the beginning labor supply increases to increase income as the individual is at the subsistence level the individual needs more money so the individual substitutes labor in place of leisure activities so the substitution effect dominates during this phase but can this continue the upward sloping curve will continue or not actually this may not happen at a very high wage rate let us say that the wage rate further increases to w4 after this w3 wage rate say that the individual has enough money here at a higher income the individual looks for more 
leisure activities like watching television watching movie visiting places for entertainment this will be only possible if the time is devoted towards more of leisure and less of labor at a higher income hence leisure has become a normal good and with increase in income there will be increase in the quantity of the normal good so leisure will increase and labor supply will fall when income increases the income effect dominates here this way say at w4 let us say labor supply is at l4 at point d which is less than the previous labor supply w3 a further increase in wage to w5 further reduces labor supply to l5 at point e look at the locus c d e this gives you the backward bending portion of the labor supply this backward bending is possible because income effect is dominating the individual is preferring more leisure over labor supply so labor supply is falling with increase in income the upward sloping labor supply curve is due to the fact that substitution effect being stronger than income effect the backward bending portion is possible because income effect being stronger than substitution effect look at the diagram of backward bending supply curve of labor once again 